A nice, big, rich, comforting bowl of soup is almost always on the menu at my house. We happen to love it. And this time we're taking a riff on the US Senate's navy bean soup recipe. We're doing pretty close. We're kicking it up just a little bit. It is so good, so easy, and really inexpensive. All right, here we go. We've got a family to feed. Let's cook, y'all. start our navy bean soup. Now this particular recipe is very specific to uh, the U.S. Uh, Congress? I think it's the Congress. But there's a million recipes for navy bean soup and they're all delicious. This one just happens to be the one that got famous. Good morning Boone. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Uh, I got some. Oh, you, you just coming to say hi? Sure. Okay, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Boone slept in. Wow. Man, you slept in a lot. Boone slept in today. Okay, so that was just a one pound package of navy beans. Ooh, look, I'm going to show you something. All right, you see that? You see what I see? Technically speaking, it used to be the case that you really had to worry a lot about picking over your beans when they came out of a, a package. Now you don't really have to so much. They're already so clean and, and in such good shape, you don't worry too much. It, it, it used to be the case that you would look for rocks, actually, or bits of dirt. That's the first time in years I have found one that is a problem. Anyway, take a look at your beans when they come out of the package. That was a one pound package of navy beans. And to that, I am adding two quarts, Woo. or one half gallon of water. It seems like a ton, and it is. But don't forget, your beans are gonna absorb a ton of that water and they're gonna swell up. And then as your beans simmer, you're gonna lose a lot just through evaporation. So give them a lot, okay? Now, I did not soak these beans. I know, I'm terrible. I'm, I'm, oh, look at the mess on my table. Don't look at the mess on my table. As a southerner, I should, here, this side. All right, as a southerner, I should be telling you always to soak your beans overnight. I always forget, but there is a way to get past that, right? First, you simply cook your beans longer, which is what I'm gonna do today. Secondly, you can do a quick soak method, which is where you cover them with water, bring it to a boil, boil them like crazy for like 20 minutes, and then turn them off, let them sit for an hour and then replace the water. I can do that when I do uh, like um, black beans or pinto beans. I don't bother when it comes time with something small like lentils or navy beans. You just simmer them a little bit longer, they'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, and the mess on my counter, or on the table. <sighs> so we're doing taxes. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do to this? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is add some seasoning to the water, okay? And a lot of people think that if you add salt to the water that you cook your beans in from the beginning, that it will make them tough. And I am here to tell you that is not true. What it will do is make them taste good because as your beans cook, with a good tablespoon of kosher salt. If you're using iodized salt, use a lot less. Iodized salt, also known as table salt. Anyway, it will make them taste seasoned, and it does help them keep their, their shape nicely. The other thing that you wanna do is not add anything with an acid component. That is what will make your beans taste tough. I learned that the hard way years ago. I used to make um, a lot of, of chili cooked off chili. There's a lot. And one time I decided to shortcut it, and I tried to cook my pinto beans in the pot with the chili, which I thought would make the beans absorb the flavors of the chili. What it did, because I cooked them with the tomatoes, which is acidic, what it did was make my pintos really tough. Not cool. Okay, now to this Southerner secret weapon, I'm adding a little bit of bacon grease. Not much, a couple tablespoons. Doesn't wanna come out. All right, so a couple tablespoons. You could, at this point, add a ham bone. I have one, but it's only about that big, so I'm gonna wait. All right, so this is it. We're gonna bring it to the simmer. We're gonna let it simmer for about three hours until it's nice and tender. All right, so our navy beans have simmered until they're just tender. Name and taste a second ago. I would I would call them just a shade underdone, but, but that's okay, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give them some additional flavor. And right now we're kinda 
kind of giving a shout out to the Senate Navy bean soup. I looked at, I had to go look it up and throw nuts. It was the Senate of Congress. It served in the Senate dining room. I've heard about the soup all my life. I just won't blame. All right, so we're gonna do a couple things real quick. First, I told you I had a little tiny ham bone. Well, it was attached to some leftover ham that I had. So I went ahead and minced up the ham. Here's a little bone left over. He's going in there. I'm gonna throw some seasonings in here real quick as well. I'm giving it a bay leaf. I like bay, I don't wanna take it like too much. We're giving it some garlic. That was about two and a half cloves. Giving it just a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, okay? There, now, now we have a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna pause this for a minute and I'm gonna peel three relatively small potatoes, okay? It's one of the differences between the Senate Navy bean soup and other recipes is that you stir in mashed potatoes. Well, I'm not gonna make mashed potatoes just to make the soup. What I will do though is mince potatoes really, really finely and cook them until they turn to mush. That I can do. So I'm gonna get these peeled, I'll be right back. All right, so I take my little potatoes. No, this, this is it. You can probably get that much one out of one large potato or a couple of mediums. I had three pretty puny potatoes. So I peeled them and I diced them pretty small, okay? So those will cook down a lot and I am 99%. I've never been to the U.S. Senate. I've never had eaten in the Senate dining room, but I guarantee, well, I have had the soup in other places. Um, those potatoes will break down and they will make the soup thicker. All right, so I'm seasoning a little bit. Got a teaspoon of salt. I'm going a little heavy on the black pepper because I like it, two teaspoons. And then we're gonna add our last ingredient. So a couple of ribs of celery, diced or minced. I like these pretty small. I like, I like smaller bites of stuff. One onion, also minced. There was a resolution passed in Senate that this has to be served every day in, in, in the Senate dining room. So you know what's good. <laughs> Sounded just like Brian. <sighs> it is a favorite and it is delicious. All right, so we're stirring that together. Now we're pretty thick at this point. We've lost our excess liquid because we've taken it up in several ways. Some was evaporation, some was absorbed by our beans, and then we added a bunch more ingredients. So at this point, we're adding just enough more water to cover. So we're gonna add water to cover. We're gonna bring it back up to a boil, reduce it for a simmer, and we're gonna let this go for about 45 minutes. At that point, we will be done. How about that? Yep. Hey YouTube, if you found that helpful, do me a favor and hop on over to Patreon. Check out my channel over there. I am terrible with Patreon, but I'm working on it. Actually, I'm bribing Boone to work on it and I'm doing my best to get all of my content uploaded over there where it's gonna sit there ad-free for my Patreons. How about that? No, patrons. Pates? Paters? I have no idea. <laughs>